Today I'm going to test ride the Harley Davidson trike, so I'm just off to collect it now and I'll be back in 15 minutes. Harley-Davidson freewheeler. It's the 114 cubic inch motor. Uh, it looks lovely, it looks like Harley-Davidson and it rides nothing like a Harley-Davidson because apart from the controls being like a motorcycle, um, if you're used to a motorcycle, to turn this thing is absolutely weird. Um, of course you get used to it um, but I mean, at first it feels weird because when you turn a motorbike you lean and you go with the corners. With this you have to pull the steering left and right obviously to turn. But as you're turning left it feels like you're going to fall off on the right and vice versa. So it's quite a disconcerting. At sort of slow speeds it's okay but when you're moving on the road at 50 miles an hour and a bend's coming up I felt quite nervous. It doesn't feel like it gives you confidence but obviously I'm not used to it. So. I'm just thinking, if I was going along and someone accelerated, I'd, I'd be off, I'd be, like, I'd be like this. So, it could do with a sissy bar. Um, this isn't a motorbike or a trike that you'd want to go that fast on, I don't think. Um, when you go over the bumps, it's kind of unusual because it kind of does that rather than that, like a motorbike would. Um, engine and gearbox are beautiful, very smooth gear changes. Um, feels just like a normal Harley Davidson in that respect and you do forget how wide it is so you can be going along and you can feel the, the bumps of the cat's eyes in the middle of the road so you really do have to keep yourself in the centre of the road and be careful with oncoming traffic but again it's like anything you have to get used to it. Including this uh, headlight, which isn't actually a headlight, it's just chrome. Um, so you've got the uh, headlights either side, which you wouldn't think would be enough because you get more on a normal bike. But there you go. Um, it's got the 114 unit. In the UK, to ride one of these, you now have to have a full motorcycle license. It's not like the old days where you could ride a trike on a car license. The only exception being if you have a disability license. So with changing up gear, you can also obviously change up as usual or you can kick down with your heel because they're sort of uh, connected to the same thing as you can see it moves okay now this does have a reverse system um, I wish I'll show you now so let's start it up hang on what have I done I've got to turn this on right let's start it up <laughs> Press the button in here, I think you hold it in, now it says reverse on there, you can see the R in there, and to make it reverse, on, let the clutch out slowly, you have to hold the button in, so are you ready?
So um, you, you would expect it to be a reverse gear, but it's actually an electric motor, so that weird noise uh, isn't it going wrong, it's just the way it is. Um, if you look down here, we have a parking brake, so obviously if you're on a slope, you just put your foot down on that until it engages, and now it won't move anywhere. And to disengage, press it down and release. Easy. So if you come round to the back, you've got quite a lot of storage on it, which opens sideways, oddly. It doesn't look as much as you think it is from the size of it, but there we go. So you've got uh, passenger foot plates as well, and. Uh, these grab rails to cling on for dear life because I think you'd want to when you go fast. Now, here's the rear seat. I'm not sure what this is, but I like the feel of it. <laughs> There's no doubt that it's um, quite stylish. Um, it certainly turns heads, whether that's because it's just because just it's a trike or because it actually looks good, who knows.